In the last class, we have discussed about the single phase fully controlled rectifier with RL load, discontinuous load current without freewheeling diode. In this class, we are going to discuss about the single phase fully controlled rectifier with the RL load, discontinuous load current with the freewheeling diode. Freewheeling diode is nothing but a diode, diode which is connected across the load. This is nothing but a freewheeling diode. This current is nothing but a freewheeling current. To explain the circuit operation, we have taken the VAB voltage, VBA voltage. This is VAB voltage, this is pi, this is 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. In the x axis, we have taken the angle. VBA we have shown with a dotted line, this is the VBA voltage. At alpha and 2 pi plus alpha, we are applying the tagging voltage to the T1, T2. At pi plus alpha and 3 pi plus alpha, we are applying the tagging voltage to the T3 and T4 that we have shown here. Now we start developing the output voltage waveform from alpha. At alpha, the T1, T2 is on. Once the T1, T2 is on, the output voltage just follows the input voltage of T1, T2. That is VAB voltage. Nothing but from this point, I will show how the VAB voltage will be changing. After pi, the T1, T2 is forced to conduct because of this inductance. This is pi. So, the output voltage is subject to negative voltage. Nothing but a, this is minus, this is plus. With that polarity, this diode is followed by us. Once the diode is followed by us, now the load current will be transferred from T1, T2 to DF. Now the load current will be passing in this manner. So the load voltage is equal to the voltage across the DF. That is 0 for ideal diode. So at the same point, the T1, T2 will be turns off because the current is transferred from T1, T2 to DF. So the voltage across the load becomes 0 up to angle beta. At angle beta, the current is coming to the 0. So the DF also will be turns off between beta to pi plus alpha. No device is conducting circuit, so the output voltage becomes a 0. Up to beta, DF is conducting. Again, from beta to pi plus alpha, no device is conducting, so the output voltage becomes a 0. Again, pi plus alpha, T3, T4 is on. Once T3, T4 is on, again, the output voltage follows the input voltage of T3, T4, that is VBA voltage, 2 pi, up to 2 pi. Again at 2 pi, the output voltage is subject negative voltage, so the free wind diode is conducting. Again, the load current will be transferred from T3, T4 to DF. So the T3, T4 will be turns off at angle 2 pi and DF will be on. So the load voltage will be 0 up to angle beta. Because at angle beta, the current is coming to the 0, so the DF also will be turns off at this point. Again from 2 pi plus beta to 2 pi plus alpha, no device is conducting circuit. Again the output voltage becomes a 0. At a 3 pi, again we are applying the tagging voltage to the T1, T2. We are getting the VBA volt, VAB voltage. Next, VBA voltage. If you see the current waveform, load current waveform, alpha to pi, the current will be increasing maximum value after pi the current is decreasing through the freewheeling diode this current is not coming from the t1 t2 this current will be decreasing from freewheeling diode up to angle beta at angle beta the current is coming to the zero so that's why the decreasing current we are representing with a if the same manner this is iba again this is if this is IF, the decreasing current IF. If we draw the source current waveform, if the T1, T2 is conducting, the source current equal to load current, that is positive. Nothing but a alpha to pi, the 
that T1, T2 is conducting, you can draw the source current in this manner, increasing. At angle pi, the freewheeling diode is conducting, so that current is not given by the source. So the current is coming to the source current is coming to the zero up to beta. Again from beta to 2 pi plus alpha, no device is conducting, the source current is zero. At a pi plus alpha, T3, T4 is on, the source current becomes a negative, that is equal to the load current. So from this point to this point, what is the waveform and magnitude is there, the same waveform, same magnitude you are drawn in negative. Again the free wind diode is conducting, the source current is zero. Same circuit operation. Now, if you find the average output voltage, 0 to pi, what is the waveform is there, the same waveform is repeating. So, the base length becomes a pi. Now, you have to find out the area under the curve, this curve area. So, we are integrating this expression from alpha to pi. 1 by pi integral alpha to pi Vm sin omega t d omega t. V naught equal to Vm by pi into 1 plus cos alpha. Now, if the circuit operation, if you are keeping in the table, alpha to pi, the T1, T2 is conducting in the output voltage is Vab. Pi to beta, free wind diode is conducting, the output voltage is 0. Beta to pi plus alpha, no device is conducting, again the output voltage becomes a 0. Sorry, here this is 0. No device is conducting, the output voltage becomes a 0. Again from pi plus alpha to 2 pi, T3, T4 is conducting, the output voltage becomes a VBE, nothing but a this area. So, whenever we are keeping the free wind diode in the circuit, when the load is subjected to the negative voltage, it will be on. Once it is on means the load voltage becomes a zero. So, even the load is consisting inductance, the load is not subjected to the negative voltage if you are keeping in the prevailing diode, the average output voltage will be increases. But here, one more point is also there. As the firing angle changing from 0 to 180 degrees, the average output voltage becomes a positive. At 0 to Vm by pi, 90 degrees, Vm by pi, 180 degrees, 0. If you line in all these points, we are getting the Average output voltage always positive if you are keeping the free wind diode across the load. This is the circuit operation of a single phase fully controlled converter with a RL load, discontinuous load current with a free wheeling diode. Thank you very much for watching this video.